Good morning, ESM. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and we're going to start off with announcements and news. On Wednesday, a 43-year-old man was stabbed multiple times in North Street, Sy Street, Syracuse. The man was treated at Upstate University Hospital and expected to survive. The man was discovered by officers after they responded to a stabbing around 6.20 p.m. Police are still investing the case. If you have any information, please call 315-442-5222. Yesterday was a busy day in Washington as the House prepared to pass Biden's $1. trillion stimulus package, accomplishing one of his first major promises from his campaign. After Georgia Republican Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene tried to delay the vote by forcing a procedural vote for Congress to stay in session. The House passed the bill to the vote of 220 out of 211 on the party lines. The bill included a direct payment to most individuals, up to 1400 per adult. Raise the child tax credit to 3600 along with billions for state infrastructure projects, the distribution of vaccines primarily in secondary schools, and more. This legislation is about giving the backbone of its nation. The essential workers, the working people who built this country, the people who kept this country going, a fighting chance. Additionally, Merrick Garland was confirmed as Attorney General Michael Reagan to lead in the EPA, and Marcia Fudge was picked at head of HUD by the Senate. Lou Audens died Saturday on March 6th at the age of 94. If you don't recognize the name, the teachers will. Lou Audens was the inventor of the audio cassette tape and compact disc. Without Mr. Audens, we would not have our mixtapes to fill our hearts and CDs to fill our cars. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Times for the AM weight room are 7.30 to 8.30. Times for the afternoon weight room are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3.30 to 5 p.m. The afternoon weight rooms for Tuesday and Thursday are 3.30 and 5.45. All social distancing rules still apply. Today we'll have a high of 68 with possible rain showers. Tomorrow we'll have some sun throughout the day with a high of 53. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday we'll all have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 37. Tuesday we'll have a high of 40 with mixed sun and clouds. Wednesday there will be mixed rain and snow showers with a high of 44. I'm Gabby with your weather. In upcoming games, the girls' basketball team plays Oswego. Last night on Wednesday, the girls' basketball team lost to Central Square 67-42. The boys' basketball team beat Fuller, Fowler, 60-40, and Jimmy Ferns led the way with 17 points. In the NBA, the Dallas Maverick beat the San Antonio Spurs 115-104. Luka Doncic had 22 points and 12 rebounds, and Chris Epps Perzingis had 28 points and 14 rebounds. And the, Syrac the Syracuse men's basketball team in the ACC tournament opener beat NC State 89-68. to 68. Buddy Bayham had the, led the team with points in 27, and Quincy Gary had 12 points as well. The Orange play again today at noon against Virginia. And I'm Tanner with eSports. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And, yeah, from all of us at the morning show, have a good day.